What is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the JDW Sports Talk Show, where every fan is welcome. In today's episode, we're going to be going through the Cleveland Browns schedule, um, giving you my thoughts on each opponent, giving you my thoughts on each game, and let me know your record predictions. Let me know your predictions down below, and if you agree or disagree with anything that I say, um, you know, real quick before I get into the schedule, man, I really like this Cleveland Browns team. I think that this Browns team has the ability to be the number one seed, the number two seed, and be a big threat to the Chiefs and make the Super Bowl and ultimately win the big prize at the end of the season, the Super Bowl. So let's get into it. Week one at the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, even though I said I think, you know, that they're capable of going to the Super Bowl, they're going to be a threat to the Chiefs. Week one, I'm going to give the Chiefs the win over the Cleveland Browns, Patrick Mahomes. I think that offense is going to be clicking week one. That offense line is going to do just fine. Um, the Kansas City Chiefs defense is may struggle a little bit, but I think it's enough to stop that offense a little bit or to at least limit it while the Kansas City Chiefs, you know, will be able to go down. I, I think they're going to be fine on that Browns defense. I think the Chiefs come out with a win in week one. Week two, they come home to play the Houston Texans. I'm going to give the Texans the – no, I'm going to give the Browns the win here. If I said the Texans, man, you guys will never forgive me, but I'm going to – I'm going to go with the Browns, you know, Texans, you know, don't really have much. They're a hot mess. So week three at home versus the Chicago Bears. I'm going to give the Browns the win here as well. You know, the Bears are a decent team. Um, I think their defense may take a little bit of a step back. I think that this Browns offense is going to be able to score in this Bears defense, whether it's running, passing. I think they're going to be able to do what they want on this defense. Um, the Bears offense, not a big fan of it, and that's why I'm taking the Browns here. Week four at the Minnesota Vikings. Yeah, you know, the Vikings, you know, they're a solid offensive team, but I don't think they're as complete as the Browns, and I think that's where they're going to lack. I think that's where they're going to have their troubles, that the Browns are very complete. The defense is going to be gelling together a little bit by now. They're going to be with each other for quite some time, and I think they're going to, you know, yeah, this Minnesota Vikings offense is really, really good, so this Browns defense may struggle a little bit, but I think that Browns offense is a little better, a little more balanced, a little more complete. I mean, I, don't, I, mean, I want to say balanced, more balanced, Um, you know, they're both really good. They're both at really good at passing. But I'm going to take the Browns here. You know, I think the Browns are, are a bit better than the Vikings. Fun matchup, though. Fun matchup for sure. Week 5, they stay on the road, and they go to play the Los Angeles Chargers in L.A. Um, this is going to be a fun game as well, but I'm going to take I'm gonna take the Cleveland Browns. Yeah, you know, the Chargers are young and upcoming. Um, they're not ready yet, so. And the Browns are ready. I'm taking the Browns here. Week 6, they come home to play the Arizona Cardinals, which is going to be an awesome game. It's going to be a really fun game to watch. Um, a lot of people are very high on the Cardinals. I'm really not. Um, yeah, they did sign J.J. Watt. Yeah, they do have um, that cornerback they signed that the Titans had, that the Patriots had. Um, Malcolm Smith, I think his name is. I'm Malcolm Butler. Um, yeah, they did draft a few guys. I know they drafted a corner that I liked a little later. Um, I'm just not a big fan of the Cardinals. I'm not a huge fan of Kyler Murray. I don't think that Kyler Murray and Cliff Kingsbury go together well. I don't think Cliff, King, Cliff Kingsbury's system is the best for Kyler Murray. Um, he's more of, you know, small ball kind of guy, especially going back to his Texas A&M game, that his Texas A&M days. Not a big fan of this Cardinals team. Yeah, I do like the receiving core under more Hopkins, but I think this Browns team is more complete and better than them, so I'm going to take the Browns team. Week 7, they're staying at home versus the Denver Broncos, and I think this is a good game. I think this is a game they could lose, and I'm going to give them the loss versus the Broncos. Yeah, you guys may be surprised that I'm going to give the Browns a loss to the Broncos. You know, the Broncos, you know, their quarterback is not the best, right? But, you know, they're going to be a team that's going to run the crap out of the ball. They're going to pound the crap out of the ball. And I think they're going to be able to, to do that against the Browns. You know, their offense line is one of the better run-blocking offense lines in the league. Um, you know, that offense line is really getting a lot better lately. It's, you know, starting to show out, starting to really come together. And, you know, maybe it'll give whoever is back there, Teddy Bridgewater, Drew Locke time. I think the Broncos will upset them week seven. That's just my opinion. I think the Broncos have a really good chance, you know, and, and their defense is solid. Their defense is enough to maybe, you know, th disguise the coverages, mess up. Baker Mayfield a few times, maybe. So, I'm going to take the, De the Denver Broncos week seven with the upset. Week eight, they're at home versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm having them beat the Pittsburgh Steelers at home. I'm not a big fan of the Steelers. Um, 
You know, I have to go like eight and nine, you know, maybe 500. I don't see them going above 500, if you ask me. Um, if Big Ben plays really well and, if that, you know, if that offensive line magically gets a little better, doesn't really happen in the NFL, um, I don't see the Steelers doing much. Um, regardless, I'm taking the Browns here over the Steelers. Week nine at the Cincinnati Bengals. Man, I'm going to take the Browns here again. Um, yeah, the Bengals are, you know, a young and upcoming team, kind of like the Chargers. I think they're very similar. Um, I think the Chargers are a little more along with their with their offensive line and defense. You know, I think the Chargers are well, – I think they're a little more along in general. So, you know, I'm going to take the Chargers over the Bengals, but I, but I think that the Bengals are not going to beat the Browns. I know that was a little confusing. I don't know why I went all over there. But at the, at the end of this game, I'm taking the Browns over the Bengals. Week 10, they travel to New England. This could be another game they lose to New England. Man, you know, we, we all know how, um, what's his name, Bill Belichick is. He likes to disguise coverages. He likes to take out your best weapon. And Baker Mayfield may struggle against that. But I'm going to take the Cleveland Browns versus the New England Patriots in Week 10. Even though, yeah, the Patriots team has improved, but I still think, I still think that this Browns team is, you know, much more dynamic than that Patriots team, much more weapons. I think the running backs are better. Um, the defense may not be better. That's that may be the one place where the Patriots have them. I think it will be a really close, good game. But I'm gonna take the Browns here. Week week eleven, they travel back home to play the Detroit Lions. Um, the Lions actually have a really good young and upcoming offensive line. Um, how is Rashawn Slater gonna be straight out the gate? We don't know if he's gonna be no, not Rashawn Slater, Penny Sewell. Um, if he's anything of what advertised, you know that left tackle or right tackle wherever he's gonna play. He's going to be a today's player for them. You know, um, he's probably going to play r r right tackle because of Taylor Decker. I think Taylor Decker is the left tackle. Um, well, yeah, that offensive line is good. But other than that, not too much to really be scared of for the Browns. I'm going to take the Browns in this matchup. Week 12 at the Baltimore Ravens. Um, I'm going to take the Browns in this one again. Um, yeah, the, yeah, the Ravens are a really good team, man. Um, it's at Baltimore. Yeah, I get that. Ravens are at home. Um, it's a divisional game. The Ravens are, you know, usually get the Browns number, but, you know, things are changing. Things are changing, and this Browns team is really, really freaking good. And, yeah, that defense is really good at Kamesa Baker Mayfield, but I but I think that this offense is so dynamic. They can run the ball just fine to really help Baker Mayfield as well. And, I, I you know, I think Baker Mayfield will be fine. I think he will be fine. Um, how will that Baltimore offense do? I think they'll be decent, but will they be able to keep up with the with the um, Cleveland Browns offense? I don't think so. Week fifteen, they stay at home versus the Las Vegas Raiders. Raiders are, you know, a young, another young, young and upcoming team. Um, they still got some holes to fill. They still have some things they have to work on. Um, I'm not, a, I'm not as high on them as as other people are. I'm just not very high on them at all. Um, I'm gonna take the Browns in this one. Week sixteen, at the Green Bay Packers. You know, the Packers are, you know, in a weird spot right now with Aaron Rodgers. Um, if Aaron Rodgers plays, you know, he's going to be, you know, the Packers are going to be really good. If he doesn't, Packers still might be okay. I'm not sure, but obviously they won't be as, you know, dynamic and as, you know, as dynamic with Aaron Ro or without Aaron Rodgers. Um, but I'm going to take the Packers here. I'm going to take the Packers in this game. Um, you know, I think this Packers team is... A really good team, and I think this is where the Browns are gonna pick up a little bit. Um, but nonetheless, you know the Packers are a really good team, and especially down the stretch, and you know January, late December, early January, um, this Green Bay team is really good all season, regardless. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the Packers there. Week 17 at Pittsburgh. I'm gonna take the Browns once again. I think I think that the Browns are gonna sweep them. Um, I, I don't think Pittsburgh has a lot, man. Um, they don't have a lot to work with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do have decent receivers. Um, other than that, in offense, if Big Ben plays good like he did in the first half, they're going to be pretty decent. If he plays like he did in the second half, they're going to struggle big time. Um, how are the running backs going to do? Not Jay Harris, Jalen Samuels, Benny Snell, I'm not sure. Um, the offense line, I'm not a big fan of. I'm not a fan of that offense lineman that they, that they drafted late. Or no, I'm like the second or third round thing it was. I I didn't even have a grade on him, so I think that was wasn't the greatest pick. So you know, I'm I'm just not high in the Steelers team. I'm gonna take the Browns to sweep them. Week 18 at home versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, 
I'm going to take the Browns again. The, you know, the Browns are just further along than the Bengals. I'm going to take the Browns. Just where I'm going to go with the, um, like I said, you know, the Bengals aren't a bad team. They're young and upcoming, but they don't have enough to beat the Browns, in my opinion. Um, so, I have them beating the Chiefs. No, no, I have them losing to the Chiefs week one, beating Houston, beating Chicago, beating Minnesota, beating Los Angeles, beating the Cardinals, losing to Denver, beating Pittsburgh, beating Cincinnati, beating New England, um, beating Detroit, beating Baltimore the first time around, losing to Baltimore the second time around, um, beating the Raiders, losing to Green Bay, beating Pittsburgh, beating Cincinnati. So that's like... They're like 14 and 3. I've been going 14 and 3. So, you know, really talented Browns team here, man. You know, maybe they do end up beating the Chiefs. Maybe they do end up beating the Broncos. And, you know, maybe they do beat, their pa- beat, beat, beat the Packers, the Ravens. Um, oh, I have them taking four losses. Four losses. So, 4 and 12. 12 and, no, 12 and 4 was from last year. Like 13 and 4. You guys get what I'm saying. You know, they're going to be a really good damn team. Um, 13 and 4. Yeah, just. Really good team, man. I think I said 13-4. I'm just losing it. Um, in the last really good, really good Cleveland Browns team, I think they're going to go far. I think they're g- going to make some noise this year. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for tuning in to the JDW Sports Talk Show. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.